Welcome to online orientation for the Electrical Engineering Program at Weber State University. The purpose of this online orientation is to connect you with your program department, explain catalog year expiration, provide an understanding of general education requirements, and provide helpful student resources. The Electrical Engineering Program is housed in the Department of Engineering. If you need to declare your major, contact the Department Secretary. You will work closely with your faculty advisor. Be sure to have your W number on hand when contacting your advisor. When declaring a major, you also declare a catalog year. The catalog year identifies the courses you need to take and the policies to follow. The default catalog year is usually the year you started at Weber. Make sure you are working toward completion of the requirements for an unexpired catalog year. You have three years to complete your associate degree under your declared catalog and six years to complete a bachelor degree. If you do not complete your degree within that period, you will need to declare the next active catalog year and fulfill any different requirements of that newer catalog year. You can access your catalog online at the website shown on the screen or in your eWeaver portal. In order to follow along with this presentation, print the general education brochure from the resources page if you have not already done so. General education is broken up into two parts, the core requirements and the breadth requirements. We will begin by discussing the core requirements. The core requirements include English, American institutions, quantitative literacy, computer information literacy, and diversity. The first requirement under the core is your composition or English. Students at Weber State must complete English 2010 with a C or better to fulfill this requirement. You may need to take prerequisite courses before taking English 2010, depending on where you placed on the ACCUPLACER or ACT in the past two years. If your placement scores have expired or you did not take the ACT or ACCUPLACER, you will be placed in Level 1, English 900. The highest you can place is English 1010 when taking the AccuPlacer. The sequence for English is English 900, English 955, English 1010, and English 2010. Please note that English 900 and 955 are considered developmental courses and the credits and grades earned in these courses do not count toward your overall credits for graduation or toward your GPA. Also note that all classes must be passed with a C or better. If you have questions on your English placement, please see the Assessment and Placement Policy on the website shown on your screen. The second requirement is American Institutions. This requirement can be completed in one of five ways. You can either take Political Science 1100, History 1700, or Economics 1740, or a combination of History 2700 and 2710. Or if you received a score of three or higher on the AP US History exam, the requirement will be complete. Please note that the fourth option is designed for history majors or minors. Most students complete the requirement, choosing a course from the first option to avoid taking an extra class. You are required to pass the class with a C or better. The third requirement under the core section for general education is quantitative literacy. Please note, as an electrical engineering student, 
Your major requires Math 1080. This course will fulfill your quantitative literacy requirement. As with English, you may need to take prerequisite courses before taking Math 1080, depending on where you were placed in the Math Mastery Exam or ACT in the past two years. The electrical engineering math sequence is Math 950, Math 990, Math 1010, Math 1080. Please note that Math 950, 990, and 1010 are considered developmental courses. The credits and grades earned in Math 950 and 990 do not count toward your overall credits for graduation or toward your GPA. Although Math 1010 is also a developmental course, its credits will work towards your overall credits and GPA. Also note that all classes must be passed with a C or better. If you have questions on your math placement, please see the assessment and placement policy on the website shown on your screen. Now let's talk more about the AccuPlacer and Math Mastery exams. Information regarding either of these exams can be found at the Testing Center website. It is important to know that you can only take the AccuPlacer and the Math Mastery exam twice in a calendar year, but you can take it at any time in the math sequence. For instance, if you place into Math 990 and were close to the score needed to place into Math 1010, you may want to reconsider taking the AccuPlacer to see if you can place into Math 1010. As another example, let's say that you haven't had math for a number of years and place into Math 950. After taking Math 950, you may feel that you have had enough of a refresher to possibly retake the AccuPlacer and place higher than Math 990. The next requirement is Computer and Information Literacy. Computer and Information Literacy is broken into four parts. The topics that are covered are Part A, Document Creation Part B, Content, Internet Identity and Device Management Part C, Data Manipulation, Visualization and Presentation and Part D, Information Literacy. Students can fulfill each part, A through D, by receiving a credit grade on each proficiency exam option or by taking the course options and getting a C or better or a combination of the two. If you choose the course option for Part D, we recommend Library Science 1704. If you have questions regarding the Computer Information Literacy requirement, or would like to look at exam practice problems before making your decision, go to the website shown on the screen. The last requirement in the core is the university's diversity requirement. All students at Weber State, whether for the associate's or bachelor's degree, must complete the diversity requirement. The requirement can be completed with one Three credit class. The courses that fulfill this requirement are denoted with a broken diamond shape and can be found throughout the general education breadth sections in the creative arts and humanities, social sciences, and physical and life sciences. We will cover the breadth requirements next. The classes shown on your screen are just a sampling of classes that will fulfill the diversity requirement. This is one of the few times you can double dip on classes. This means, for instance, if you were to take History 1510, that class would count as a social science, as well as for your diversity. 
When choosing classes in the breadth requirements, please make sure to take one class with a broken diamond. The second set of requirements in general education is called the breadth requirements. The breadth includes humanities and creative arts and your social, physical, and life sciences. These courses must be passed with a D minus or higher unless a higher grade is required due to major course requirements. For electrical engineering students, major courses require a C or better. We will begin by discussing the Humanities and Creative Arts requirement found on page 2 of the General Education Requirement Sheet found on the East Advisement Resources page. In this area, you must complete a total of nine credits with at least three credits in Humanities and three credits in Creative Arts. Your last three, three credits can come from either the Humanities or Creative Arts column, as long as you don't duplicate departments. You will choose one course from the Humanities one course from the Creative Arts, and one from either side. The duplication of departments rule is very important to keep in mind when you are choosing classes within the breadth areas. For example, if you were to take English 2200 under the Humanities column, you would not be able to take any other English class in the Humanities, nor could you take an English class within the Creative Arts. You also would not be able to take an English class under any other breadth requirement. Make sure you always choose classes from different subject matters. The only time you are allowed to duplicate departments is for students taking honors classes. Please note that electrical engineering majors are required to take Communication 2110, which will fulfill three credits of your humanities requirement. Otherwise, you may take any of the courses in this area that are of interest to you and meet the requirements. The next portion of your breadth requirements is the social sciences found on page 3 of the general education requirement sheet. In this area, you will need to complete six credit hours. You will take two courses. Please note that electrical engineering majors are required to take Economics 2010, which will fulfill three credits of your social science requirement. The last portion of your breadth requirements is the physical and life sciences found on page 3 of the general education requirement sheet. This requirement works much like the creative arts and humanities in that you need to complete nine credit hours. Of those nine credits, you must complete at least three credits in physical science and three credits in life science. Please note that electrical engineering majors are required to take chemistry 1210 and physics 2210. This means you will choose these two courses to fulfill your physical science requirement. You will need to choose one three credit life science course. Remember, do not duplicate departments. Please note, only one course from either Geography or Geosciences and only one course from either Physics or Astrology may be used to fulfill the Physical Science requirement. You can find a suggested semester schedule for incoming freshmen attending the fall semester in the GradMaps app 
in your eWeber portal. Weber State offers courses during three semesters each year, spring, summer, and fall. If you are a freshman starting your first semester in the spring or summer, you will need to adjust the suggested schedule shown on the grad map, taking the courses offered during the semester you are attending. You can find if a course has a prerequisite by looking in the university catalog. If you are unable to follow the suggested schedule, we recommend that you take your required English and math courses based on your placement and two courses from your major. CatTrax is a web-based tool with an easy-to-read worksheet that helps track your progress towards your degree and is available through the eWeber portal. The program combines degree requirements with the coursework already completed to show what requirements are remaining. CatTrax can be found in your eWeber portal. At this time, you will want to return to the East Advising website and click on the Advising Resources page for a list of web links that were referred to in this presentation.